A heated election leading to dozens of political signs being stolen and switched out at a local headquarters. As 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel shows us, it's an overnight crime that has candidates on both sides shaking their heads. Well, with just nine days left in this election, every vote counts and therefore every impression counts. And that's why normally you would see Democratic candidate signs on these large polls here in Buchanan County. But as workers showed up to the Democratic headquarters this morning, instead of those signs, they found these Republican ones instead. All that remains of what once were 24 Democratic candidate posters are these now empty posts and these snipped zip ties. Now evidence of the overnight crime at the Buchanan Democratic headquarters in St. Joseph. Whoever took these down, if they think they're patriotic, well, then they don't know the definition of that word. A sign of whose supporters may have done it, these posters planted in place of the stolen signs. Trump, Pence, Hillary for prison 2016, and Bill Pewitt for sheriff. And I know him, and I know this is a good man, and I know that he didn't plan this and he wouldn't support it. It's completely unacceptable. Nothing to do with it. Pua is urging whoever is responsible to turn themselves into police. I believe the craziness from the national election now is, is coming to the, the local level and like I said, all the all the candidates are good people. One of those candidates, Megan Kennedy Stickley. It's unfortunate. It's hard not to take it personal. She tells us despite the financial hit, Buchanan County Democrats will persevere. We will go high if they go low. And stealing property valued at over $500 is considered a felony, but since they were election signs, there could be federal penalties as well. We're in St. Joseph, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.